Hi everyone, my name is Victor and I am one of the authors of Tekken.com. Today, we're going to continue our lesson on configure and manage firewall in Linux. In our previous lesson, we've looked at what firewall is, we've looked at how firewall works in Linux, we've looked at um, firewall D, we've, we've also looked at how firewall D um, works in Linux. In today's lesson, we're going to look at firewall D zone and um, probably firewall D services. As it was mentioned in the previous lesson, that a zone is where you configure all your firewall rules on. The zone concept in firewall has made firewall management easy compared to IP tables. Okay, with zones, a lot of complex firewall rules can be easily configured on the system. A zone can be created by a user or an administrator can use a predefined zones on the system. The, pre the predefined zone can be seen by using the command firewall cmd get zones oh sorry get zones so you can see all the zones we have on the system i'm using a red at its system so i have 10 zones they are the block zone dmz drop external home internal libert public trusted and work zones these zones are predefined and um, they all have their um, function for example the block zone is suitable for um, incoming connections that is not trusted this zone will block all incoming traffic with icmp prohibited message right then um, the external zone for example is suitable for external network and masquerading right the home zone is suitable for home network that is a network within your home environment network within this sphere can be trusted right so if you know you um you 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 have a network that you trust you can um, use the properties the firewall properties that are configured on the home zone so these are all predefined zones and the default zone on the system is the public zone of course you can change it if you want to the public zone is where all your firewall configuration we go to except you specify the zone you want you you want to configure your firewall rules on right if you do not specify the zone and you keep configuring all your configurations are defined on the default zone and the default zone is always active by default to get the active zones on the system use the command firewall cmd get active zones so you can see the two active zones on the system the v the um v library sorry yeah library and the interface that is using this is v i r b r o and the um public zone and the interface that is using this is the ens33 so this is how you can get the active zones on the system okay so to get um, the public zone and its um firewall rules right you use the command firewall sorry list all okay so you can see the um default zone which is public right and it is active and you can also see the firewall configuration on this zone for example you can see the port and the protocols of this zone right the port um for this zone is 2022 okay and then you can see all the information all the firewall rules that are defined on this zone don't forget i said firewall rules are always defined on the zone right to list all the zones available on the system with their rules and configuration you just use the command list all zones okay so this will show you all the zones and the different configurations or the firewall rules that are defined on the zone right so we have um the block zone we have the dmz zone we have the drops zone these are all the zones with their configuration and to list a specific zone with its rules and configuration for example if you want to list um, um the the one for the public zone you can just do firewall 
<coughs> sorry, firewall, CMD, zone, all right, then public, list, hall. Okay, so this will show you um, uh, the specific zone and um, its configurations that are defined on it, okay? So to change the default zone, for example, say you don't want to um you don't want to use this zone, you want to change the default zone, okay? You use the command firewall firewall cmd. Um, I think it's set, yeah. Default zone. Then I can change it to the zone name I. I feel I want to change it to. I can use um, home, for example. Okay, so you see that uh, we've been able to change this this zone, the default zone to home zone. Depending on how, how advanced you want to configure your firewall, sometimes you might need to activate two, three, four zones on your system and define the rules on the zone. So this is a public zone, for example. This rule is saying allow port 2022 on this system with the TCP protocol, all right? And on any other active um, zone, you can also say um, allow whatever port or whatever source IP, you understand, or whatever NIC. You, of course, you're going to define a, um, a zone on a NIC, right? And then you can have multiple zones as you wish to define your um, your firewall rules. Okay, so if you wish to learn more about all the predefined zones, um, I have them in this website. So I'm going to be dropping the link to this website in the description section below. You can come and learn about them. All right, so in the next class, we're going to talk about um, firewall D services and um, we're going to look at examples of how we can generally configure firewall on the system. Okay, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel and bye for now.